Good morning. Thank you very much for attending this morning's conference here at Toronto Police Headquarters. This morning, Chief Superintendent Alphonse McNeil, head of the Integrated Security Unit from the RCMP, and Superintendent Tom Russell, head of the G20 planning team from the Toronto Police Service, will reveal traffic and perimeter plans for the G20 summit. Please welcome Sup Chief Superintendent Alphonse McNeil. Sir. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Alphonse McNeil. I'm the Division Operations Commander for the G8 and G20 summits. The government has chosen Toronto to host the Group of 20 summit on Saturday and Sunday, June 26th and 27th at the Metro Toronto Convention Centre. Security for the summit is being managed by the Integrated Security Unit, a joint team led by the Royal Canadian Mounted Police, the Toronto Police Service, Ontario Provincial Police, and Canadian Forces and Peel Regional Police. All security planning is done to ensure the safety and security of internationally protected persons, summit staff, and dignitaries, and the people who live, work, and visit Toronto. Every effort is being made to ensure these security measures have the least possible impact on the day-to-day -day lives of Torontonians, while balancing the need to keep some of the world's most powerful people safe and secure. Never before have two summits been held in one weekend. This has presented unique challenges for security partners, however ones that I know we can meet. These summits will put Canada on the world stage for three days in June, and we endeavour to ensure the security will not be the overarching theme. I would now like to turn the microphone over to Superintendent Tom Russell from the Toronto Police Service G20 planning team. Thank you, Chief Superintendent McNeil, and good morning, ladies and gentlemen. The following information is provided to help you understand the impact of security planning and to assist you to navigate downtown Toronto during the summit. There will be an area around the Metro Toronto Convention Centre in which vehicle and pedestrian traffic will be controlled. And as with most international summits, security fencing will be used to secure the area. The map behind me, if we can get it on screen, thank you very much. The map behind me on screen clearly uh, outlines the boundaries and perimeters of our, our security fencing. The line in yellow is the uh, Toronto Police uh, boundary, uh, and, and uh, I'll talk about that in just a moment. Now, I'd like to mention that these boundaries are still subject to change. In fact, we are currently under negotiations with business partners, including the Rogers Centre, within this perimeter. And when and if these plans are finalized, they will be communicated to the public as soon as possible. Now, the fence itself will be erected in the weeks leading up to the summit, and this construction will begin on or about June the 7th and will continue 24 hours a day until completion. We know this will be inconvenient to Torontonians and we ask for your patience and understanding during this time. It is our hope that members of the public will be able to move freely throughout the fence perimeter until the evening of Friday, June 25th. However, the Toronto Police Service will have the ability to control access in this area in the days leading up to June 25th if security reasons dictate that this is required. Torontonians who live or work in the area have been offered a registration card in order to facilitate quick passage through the security checkpoints. Members of the public who have not received a registration card or who do not live or work in the area but require access into the security perimeter will have to present a piece of photo identification and clearly articulate a specific person purpose and destination to be allowed through. The process may take some time and those seeking access into the security perimeter are asked to exercise patience when doing so. To keep traffic flowing as efficiently as possible, a traffic management strategy has been created to guide vehicles away from the security perimeter surrounding the Metro Toronto Convention Centre. It too is represented on this map that is the out outer perimeter uh, in, in green or blue as represented on the map. This is a, not a fence. This is a perimeter, but it's not a fence. It is the point at which vehicle traffic will engage with a Toronto police officer. Roadways within this area, bounded, bounded by King Street, Young Street, Queens Quay, and Spadina Avenue, will experience closures or restrictions. Anyone living or working or having a specific purpose and destination within this perimeter will not be denied access. 
However, disengagement with officers may take some time, and those seeking access to, are, are asked to exercise patience when doing so. Other road closures may occur to accommodate marches or protest activity. These will be communicated as soon as possible through numerous mediums. Routes in and out of the downtown area, including the 400 series highways, the Gardner Expressway, the Queen Elizabeth Way and Lakeshore Boulevard will not be closed. However, there will be intermittent restrictions on Highway 427 and the Gardner Expressway to accommodate motorcade travel. On Saturday, June 26th and June 27th, these restrictions will be ongoing throughout the day and significant traffic disruption is anticipated. In addition, the York Bay Young Street exits on the Gardner Expressway will be closed on Friday, June 25th and Saturday, June 26th. The York Street ramp onto the westbound Gardner Expressway will be closed on Sunday, June 27th. There will be lane restrictions on Lakeshore Boulevard to accommodate pedestrian traffic from Friday, June 25th to Sunday, June 27th. All traffic management details are subject to change and members of the public can expect significant traffic disruptions in the downtown area. They are encouraged to take public transit and to listen to their local media for the latest updates. There are other points of interest that I, I am going to point out that will help you navigate the security plans that are being placed for the summits. I will highlight some of them, but details, details will be available on the Integrated Security Unit's website and will also be distributed in the next edition of the Our Toronto magazine. Now this edition of uh, Our Toronto will be distributed to over one million households in the, in the city and the City of Toronto has had this translated into many different languages by the City of Toronto. Now in terms of Union Station, Union Station will be open during the G20 Summit. However, on the evening of Friday, June 25th through to Sunday, June 27th, Exits to Front Street will not be in use. Travelers will have to use the exits on the east and west side of Union Station. And in addition, the southern exit or the blue walkway to, towards the Air Canada Centre will also be open. Traffic disruptions will be significant in this area and members of the public are encouraged to use public transit or the pedestrian walkways to go into or leave Union Station. The Toronto Transit Commission, I believe, is here today to... Uh, perhaps answer any questions that you may have, but regular service is expected on the subway and only a limited number of surface routes will be impacted by the summit. Portions of the underground pathway, that system will be closed from the evening of June 25th through Sunday, June 27th and will reopen for its regular hours of business on Monday, June 28th in the morning. From Friday, June 25th to Sunday, June 27th, there will be heightened enforcement of parking in the downtown core. Enforcement particularly for the area surrounded by Queen Street, Young Street, Lakeshore Boulevard and Spadina Avenue. All parking regulations for no parking, no stopping, no standing will be strictly enforced. Vehicles may be tagged and or towed. The Integrated Security Unit values the rights guaranteed to every Canadian in the Charter of Rights and Freedoms, and we will work to uphold them while ensuring public safety, peace and good order are maintained in the City of Toronto. We believe that most groups will want to express themselves in a peaceful and responsible manner. However, we are preparing for any eventuality. Any interaction police have with demonstrators will be measured, balanced and appropriate to the circumstances at hand. The Integrated Security Unit has worked with the City of Toronto to set up the north end of Queen's Park as a safe and, and designated speech area that will uh, have access to the media from that location. Before I take your questions, I want to take this opportunity to thank all of the partners at the City of Toronto. The Integrated Security Unit has been working very closely with many different areas of the city, including the City Manager's Office, Parks, Forestry and Recreation, Transportation, the Office of Emergency Management, and Shelter Support and Housing Administration. These partnerships have assisted us greatly with our planning efforts. I also want to, uh, to mention that we are very grateful to the support of many of the corporate partners in the downtown Toronto area. 
The plans we speak of today have been a community effort. Thank you.